this midday. The identity of the suspect in the prior double homicide has been confirmed and his booking photo has been released. 18-year-old Jesus Denise Mendoza of Warland, Wyoming was taken into custody Wednesday afternoon and is being held at the Park County, Wyoming Detention Center. Now before arrest, Mendoza was accused of shooting and killing two people in broad daylight in the small town of Pryor, Montana. Details from law enforcement about the moments that led up to the shooting are still scarce. But as MTN's Victoria Hill explains, family members say both victims were randomly shot while trying to carry out a good deed. 40 miles south of Billings, usually desolate, Friar Gap Road was filled with emotion Wednesday afternoon as loved ones mourn the loss of two family members. <laughs> They say 52-year-old Jason Shane and his wife, Tana Shane, both prior residents, lost their lives when they were shot Wednesday morning around 10 o'clock. Family members say what started off as a good deed right here on Prior Gap Road ultimately ended in tragedy. A nephew of the Shanes told MTN News the couple spotted a Hispanic male stranded along the side of the road in his car. They stopped and took him to the store just a quarter of a mile away for gasoline. When they returned him to his green Ford Taurus with plates out of Washakie County, Wyoming, family says the man shot the couple. He also shot a third passenger, the couple's 25-year-old daughter, who fortunately was able to get away and get help from staff at a nearby school. With help from a helicopter, the search was on. The Park County, Wyoming Sheriff's Office confirms the suspect was taken into custody without incident around 1230 Wednesday afternoon, more than 150 miles away, north of Matitsi, Wyoming. With assistance from the Bighorn County Sheriff's Office and the Montana Highway Patrol, the investigation will be led by the FBI and Bureau of Indian Affairs. In Pryor, Victoria Hill, MTN News. All right, thank you very much, Victoria. Now, FBI agents are in Cody and will begin proceedings to turn Mendoza back to Montana. We're told by family members that the injured daughter underwent surgery at a Billings hospital and is currently recovering. Prior residents tell us a bigger law enforcement presence is needed along the Prior Gap Road as it serves as a drug corridor between Montana and Wyoming. And the Bighorn County Attorney Jay Harris tells MTN his office plans to open a full investigation into Mendoza's activities in Bighorn County before the homicide occurred.